Hello, I'm Lee Karapetis, HSC business partner here at Endeavour Energy. Here to discuss hydraulics, hydraulic safety and some basic hydraulic principles. Some important things to understand about hydraulics is, is how they work and what a hydraulic system is made up of. The system comprises of a tank. That tank is a reservoir that holds hydraulic fluid um, and, and it's basically our reserve. Then you have a motor and a drive unit, um, which, which in turn, you know, turns a pump and that creates our pressure. That pump is really the driver that allows that fluid to get from that tank and out to our tools. But in between the tank, the pump and the motor um, and the tool is a, is a whole series of uh, components that are very crucial to the operation of hydraulics. We have directional control valves. Now these directional control valves, they control the flow path of the fluid. Now, does the fluid go one way or another? That can be to actuate out or in, or it could be to, to spin clockwise or anti-clockwise. Uh, we have selector valves. Now those selector valves, for those uh, who are familiar with lifter borers, can allow us to, to use the PTO to do the jacks or to use uh, for other parts of our tools. So we have pressure gauges as well. Pressure gauges give us an indication of how much, how much pressure is actually in the system and gives us a good understanding, particularly when we're doing maintenance, that the system is doing what it's designed to do. Um, once we've used uh, the, the, the pressure, we've used the tools, there is a, there's a return line and that return line it just allows that circuit to be completed. So in essence, hydraulic principles are really basic. We have a motor and pump arrangement that moves hydraulic fluid under very high pressure through hydraulic lines that allow us to do our work. So, some of the hazards and risks that are involved with using hydraulics. Well, obviously there's pressurised fluids, and these pressurised fluids can be obvious and some are hidden. The obvious ones are is when, when the machine's running, um, you know, you can hear it and, you know, you can actuate it and they move. But they can there can still be pressure in the system even when it's off. We have accumulators. Accumulators store energy uh, even when the system's off. They generally provide backup energy when we need it for high demand tasks. Um, but don't be lulled into a false sense of security thinking that because it's off, there's no pressure in the system. If we disconnect, quick connect couple um, lines uh, under pressure, they can stall. And you can also get um, pressure on from cylinders that have gravitational um, forces on them. So particularly with our quick connect systems, there can always be pressure in that, that system. So if the hose is not going on, uh, there's a reason for it. Uh, we should always consult with our mechanic and, and um, you know, get them to relieve the pressure properly or check as to why the, you know, that's not coupling. Some other hazards we have is obviously exposure to hazardous materials and chemicals. The hydraulic system comprises of uh, mechanical parts, but it's the oil that does all the work. Now, most of the oils are inert, but it's good to understand what the SDS is uh, and what that oil can do to your skin, to your eyes, and it's important to wear your PPE, have your buttons done up, and also wear your glasses and gloves where applicable. One of the nastiest things from hydraulic systems, though, is oil injection. Now, oil injection is a fine, minute mist needle-like where uh, the, the oil can enter the skin through a small orifice uh, and once it does that, uh, it's a nasty, nasty operation uh, and procedure and process to be able to get that out. Very important that where damage has occurred, uh, that you notify your supervisor and that the equipment's tagged out of service so that it's inspected. Uh, some other risks are noise. Obviously, this is mechanical equipment, so just be mindful of where you are and uh, how long you're exposed to that. We're hearing protection where applicable. Um, we have heat, heat that's generated from the hydraulic system, uh, vibration, so things like tampers can, can vibrate a fair bit. So when you're on those for an for extended period of time, you know that vibration can extend back to us. And obviously moving, moving equipment and flying, you know, flying debris, you know, the, the rattle guns and, and cutters um, are quite efficient in what they do, but they can also be violent in their operation. So we need to be mindful of who's around us and the work that we're doing as well. Hi, Brick Gibbs from Technical Training, here today to show you how to disconnect and connect our quick link hydraulic hoses. Whenever we're using hydraulic tools, we need to make sure that before we connect or disconnect the hoses, that their pressure has been released. To do that, as an example on the lifter borer, if we've operated the tamper, 
tool. Um, we packed it up and we want to disconnect the hoses. So to release the pressure in those hoses, what we would do is make sure our shutoff valve has, uh, is off, in the off position. Um, we change our diverter valve to the pole jacks and we use the handle on the, the tamper to release the pressure out of the hoses. If you're using the pole jack on a lifter borer and you wanted to, you finished, you wanted to change over to the tamper, um, what you would do is the pole jack shutoff valves in the neutral position, we push it over to tamper and then we operate the pole jack lever to release the pressure. As an example with the chassis tools on a EWP, um, we've used the tool, we want to disconnect it now, we turn the power off as in the chassis tool button, we operate the trigger uh, of the tool to um, release the pressure and disconnect that. So as another example, um, the hydraulic tools in an EWP basket. Right, so to disconnect the tools to release the pressure, we would turn our tool switch off. We would then activate the lever for the tool. That will release the pressure. We can then disconnect our quick, quick link hoses. So by following the manufacturer's instructions when connecting and disconnecting hydraulic hoses, we can minimise the risk of injury when operating hydraulic equipment. For more information, contact Technical Training.